what's up everybody it's your girl b back with another video i'm gonna try not to have my hair and the microphone kind of don't want to wear the microphone but yeah okay we're gonna leave it okay so automatically when i was doing the pre-shuffle um so let me because i just did it right now Okay, so you got, um, pay attention to the red flags. Okay, so you could be with somebody or meeting somebody, reconciling with your person, with somebody, whatever it is. This person, either you, if you're with, like, take the energy as it resonates, guys. So you guys know your story if you're in a relationship, if you're married, if you're dating, I don't know, trying to find somebody new going back to somebody old, I don't know. Take whatever energy it pertains to you. You see this person as your, I feel like my voice cracked a little bit, meaning this person's having a little bit of an issue expressing themselves towards you. But not only that is like, I feel like they're a little nervous because they don't know how you're going to respond to them or something like that. Or like, maybe not respond to them, but like they don't know how you're going to receive it or if you feel the same way if they're going to be 128, 129. I've been seeing those numbers a lot. I have to definitely look it up again. Let me actually write that down. I just burned some Palo Santo for you guys too to cleanse the energy. I hadn't burned Palo Santo all day, so. Okay. So... I had a channeled message and it just like dwindled away okay so oh my hands feel like okay so um okay back to what i was saying this is somebody this person your person is somebody that you um you could see yourself marrying if you're married to this person then that makes sense but you see yourself long term with this person I feel like um, I was getting the number 29 because I saw 229 and 2 and 9, which is 29, breaks down to number 11, which means like infinite. Like I, I always just, you know, I always see like two, I don't want to say towers, but it's like the 11 sh shooting straight up and it's never ending. It just goes vertical. So it's like I feel like you guys are two people that are very individual, but are very divine. Um, I'm being drawn to say this because I was kind of going to say something completely different and like I spaced out, but that just came to me. So, um, you guys could be very divine. So this is, oh, that's what I was going to say. This is very, um, I don't want to say, yeah, maybe you can say faded. Um, this connection is faded. This reconciliation is faded, whatever it is. This relationship is faded. It was always going to, I was going to say come full circle or it was always gonna happen for you. Um, it was just in the matter of like the lessons that you guys needed to learn individually. So basically what it is, you guys each, let's say you were in a connection. Um, I'm getting, okay, could, I don't know if you guys know the term of twin flames. Okay, I'm gonna I'm introduce you to this, twin flame. And maybe I've said it before, I'm, I'm sure I have. But twin flame is somebody that is your other, not half, but it's your other soul. So if you hurt yourself, you're hurting your person. If you heal yourself, you're healing half of your person. So when you heal yourself, you're healing your person so it gets them more into the energy of wanting to heal because it's you guys are too, you know, you guys come together. Also, what I'm getting is this connection, whatever connection I'm talking about, whether it pertains to you, um, somebody around you, whatever it is. Um, I don't, I don't like when my hair, ooh, I don't like when my hair, um, not that I don't like when my hair, I, my hair looks short, so it took me a long time to grow my hair, so I like to look at it long. Um, dang it, I always do this, where I forget what I was saying. Oh, I remember. This connection has definitely been something that has tested both of you guys, you guys individually, in a twin flame, sorry to 
you know okay in a twin flame connection there's always a separation there has to be a separation period because this is going to force growth um so um i'm getting whiskers maybe you have a cat or you have i don't know do dogs have whiskers ah they do um I'm getting whiskers because I just don't like this. Uh, but also this person, I'm getting like their, when they shave or something, like if it's a masculine, you know how they get like little whiskers right here or whatever, like, and I don't know. Anyways. Um, so yeah, this person, you guys have to go through your individual lessons um, so that you guys could come back together in a healed, in a healed place in your life where or you're in a place in your life where you are now not now healed but you've really um, overcome a lot of difficulties you've made a lot of different like a lot of changes you are completely different than what your person can remember maybe like energetically because um or also i could i feel like your person is trying to really look at you in a very like um angelic light or like in a in a sense of like this your person is really trying to um separate you from like the rest and like really hold you like in your little spot that nobody can take that's what i'm getting like you know they're nurturing you and like they're kind of covering you protecting you not wanting anybody to like mess with you or like um they don't want and also what i'm getting if this is a reconciliation they don't want somebody to come in and um like ruin either a surprise or they don't want to ruin like they don't they want to get to you first before like any conflict or anybody says anything or something like that this is what i'm getting um so th this is definitely worth waiting for because um we got worth waiting for this could be the one um we also got marriage you deserve love this is in the pre-shuffle i just wanted to show you guys so this is why I decided to do a video or press record. Stay optimistic about your love life and chemistry. So, oh, my left hand, probably shaky. Um, this one's a little shaky too. <laughs> um, I literally, I had kombucha a little bit ago. So I feel like that's why my hands are a little, mm, they're not that bad. Because um, kombucha has sugar in it. Anyways, this could be the one worth waiting for. Did I already show you guys this one? I'm going to just show you guys again. And we got chemistry. We got children. And pay attention. Okay, this is what I'm getting with pay attention to the red flags. Is maybe your person has children. Maybe you want to have children one day. Maybe if, you know, if you don't have children. Or if you do, cool. If you don't, maybe you want children. Or maybe you want to co-parent with this person or learn how to co-parent with this person or something like that if you guys have children forgiving and learning wedding so okay automatic automatically what i'm getting right now is you know marriage is um it's it's always going to be difficult any relationship but what we have to remember um is like okay for me and this like not that I'm in this situation right now, but this is what I would hope for is to be with a partner that is reciprocal with the energy, like in regards to like, you don't have to have the same love language, but show the same effort in regards to like priority. Obviously, your person is not your number one priority. If you have children, obviously, even yourself, like you need to put yourself first and, you know, but um your person should never be your everything like that um you can really have a lot of love for them like love like a real genuine love like i don't know if we i mean i've felt i have felt i feel like i've i've felt love for like i know what it feels like so like and it's true about what they say is like you really love when you love somebody forever no matter if you're with that person or not even if it's a platonic or if it's like a, a partner like a love partner or if whether it's your family or a very close friend that you have emotions for because we have emotions for our friends like you know i have emotions for many a lot of people in my life and i love to express my emotions a lot of people are not comfortable with that 
but we have to understand that they're not comfortable and like give them that room to receive your love in whatever way they're going to receive it. You can't force somebody to love you. You can't force somebody to accept you. You can't. Not everybody's going to like you. I don't know why I'm doing this. Ding, ding. Maybe you play the piano. Um, I don't know. I was getting like piano. Um, sorry, guys. I, I know I totally hit that mic. I saw it. Um, I have worth writing for. Oh, wow. I like uh, pulled the card and it says true love. Oh, so yeah, so when you know you're in love, you really care about somebody, when you really, really, really love somebody, you can see them and be like, okay, they're happy, like if, let's say you're not with somebody that you really, really love, you can see them and be like, if that's what makes them happy, I still love them for who they are and what they've taught me, and moving forward, you have to accept whatever situation it, you know, it is, and who knows, like, we never say never, and things do come back around sometimes, maybe energetically, or, like, in a maturity level, it's not in a, or, like, maybe you guys aren't in the same, aren't in the same energetic, you guys are in the same energetic field at the moment, maybe you guys are a little off, but I think eventually you guys will get back to where you guys are aligned, and things will work out. So I think you just have to be patient. Um, I don't know if I should pull tarot. I feel like you guys just have to be patient. It is worth waiting for. Ay, 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 why isn't it doing it? Worth waiting for. <sighs> Playfulness. I feel like you guys got to um, maybe let go of... Sorry, I'm not trying to touch the microphone. Let go of any, like... Um, like, if this is somebody that you've known, if you, this is your person and you've known them for a really long time and there's been mistakes or challenges that have really, um, I guess I, I wanted to say tested you, but not really tested you, but really, I guess tested your faith. Um, and we can all doubt, 12, 12, but as I look up, we can all doubt our every moment in our life, but we just have to have the mental... Um, understanding or like the mental like to accept things as they are so yeah and maybe there's somebody that's going to be sending you send, sending you <laughs> sending you a message mm. okay so I feel like this person because I was getting something, but oh, sorry. Um, I was getting something, but I, uh, I, uh, anyways, I was getting something else when in regards to like something about money, like an inheritance or something. But the idea floated away, so I just let it go. So I feel like you guys are either expecting something, I feel like you guys are very uh, what's the word? Elite. That's what I'm getting. Elite. Elite. E L I T E. Elite expectation you could be 28 years old it could be a scorpio or a libra i'm also getting taurus or capricorn okay i feel like ooh. so there's going to be a situation that's going to be coming into your life whether it be your person's going to be maturing and this is going to be happening in the in the distant horizons um or this is something that you're expecting let me actually pull cool. I feel like this is some maybe you're in concern that something's over or something is has ended maybe a relationship maybe a friendship a situation job i don't know um um you're hmm, there could be a situation let's see what is this coffin and concern spirit clarify cover and concern Okay, so, there, okay, I got it. So there's a situation. So this is definitely, if this is not your counterpart, it, I mean, it definitely is because we have the mature woman and the mature man. We have distant horizons. So I feel like you guys are both going to be maturing. When I looked up, it was 1444. Um, I was going to say earlier when I called 1212, you guys could be mirroring one another in regards to energy. 
like you guys are holding back, this person's holding back, um, maybe they're nervous, you're nervous, anxious, anxious, or not knowing what to say, or you, uh, I'm getting like, you know what, when you're, you try to figure out what to say, and like nothing happens when you're in the presence of this person. Um, sometimes it's a little, I don't know, for me, it's like sometimes it's a little difficult to express, like I can be around somebody, like specific people, and like my intuition be hitting, like I just channel, and I know it's coming through me, because like it's I I'm not like that with everybody. Like there's just certain people that I can like really channel when I'm around their energy, or like just messages for them, or like in general. I don't know. Um, what I was getting was this person could be uh, worried. Um, because we have coffin and concern, this person could be worried that this relationship has ended. However, if this is a situation where somebody was lying, somebody wasn't being honest, somebody was um, trying to like, I'm getting somebody pulling the wool over your eyes, like that's what I'm getting. And I never say that term. Ooh, sorry, I just like flickered it. Um, false person and change. So maybe you guys are going to be ending some sort of situation. Ooh, I picked up this, but my deck's in reverse. But maybe in regards to somebody that you have a child with. Wealthy man. Um, false person change. Maybe there's just going to be a situation where you're going to be focusing on your work. But not, not work like tedious work. Like you're going to be having fun while you work. You could do something that's different from, like, the normal nine to five. You could um, just, like, be your own boss. Or you could just, like, you know, make your own schedule or be able to work from home. And you can kind of do your own thing in a sense of, like, not being supervised. I don't know. I have not, I have not worked, like, at home or anything, like, from the COVID situation. I started my business. So I don't know what working from home, like like a desk job from nine to five would feel like but from what my friends tell me it's pretty boring so maybe you don't but you don't have this job because i'm getting you could be focusing on a hobby or maybe you're focusing on your children maybe you're focusing on getting some sort of relationship or like a person or something like that that's what i was getting and wealth I feel like you really see this person I was talking about the number 11 too I feel like you really see this person as like your like this person is this, the person that you can see and like it really motivates you to be better to do better to let go of um you know toxicity toxic behaviors toxic mentality toxic habits anything anything um also, I wanted to touch on, like, toxicity. We all have toxicity. Literally, everybody. Every day, no matter what, we just have to learn how to channel the more lighter side of things and not be in, like, a deceptive energy. It's all about energy. So if we, if our intention is to be pure and to really um, focus on being better, then that's what's going to come to you. The universe is going to align that for you because that's what you truly want is to be a better person. I feel like this person is a little bit in despair because I feel like they think the situation is over with you guys. Maybe it's been some time. And maybe they found out something uh, like new, like not new, but like maybe they've realized something. Either, e either they realized something or they found out something. <sighs> Sorry, fixing my hair. Either they're realizing something or I don't want like the piece of hair. <laughs> Sorry, guys, let me finish that sentence. Either they're realizing something or they are. I don't even know what I was going to say. I forgot. Um, okay, well, if it comes back, it comes back. I feel like they see you as a gift, for sure, or a blessing. I feel like you could be very different, very dynamic. Like somebody that nobody, that this person's never met or your person's never met, They you stand out like <laughs> the way I said that. You stand out, like, for sure. No, but um, maybe I'm getting, like, 
I don't want to say buddies, but like maybe the family, their family is like, oh yeah, for sure she's the one. Or like, okay, I see it. Or if your person's not really saying anything, maybe like to their friends and family, maybe they're noticing like, what's going on with you? Like, why are you acting so different? Or are you talking to somebody? Or are you dealing with something? Like, you know, something like that. I'm getting the movie Fifty Shades of Grey, but not like in a sexual way, just like the character how he like falls in love with her and stuff like that anyways unexpected income i'm not i'm not really getting if this could be um money for you guys maybe you guys are gonna be you know uh getting some sort of unexpected money in your account whether it be for work maybe something i found money the other day in my car and i was like super excited that's unexpected income so maybe you guys are gonna be getting some sort of unexpected income but what i was getting from this is an offer or some sort of like um relationship this person wants to come in and give you <sighs> i feel like somebody really is behind the scenes like if, if if this doesn't happen it not doesn't happen there could be a situation where there's a person whether it be on your side or your person's side that does not want to see this relationship come to fruition or come back together or whatever it is um and uh, i feel like this person is going to be in a mental prison, so you don't have to worry. I feel like all the blockages from other people um, are completely removed. Um, what I want to say is when you come back together, let's say this is a reconciliation with your twin flame, because remember we were talking about that separation and the distant horizons. Maybe this is going to be happening pretty soon. Um, when you come back together, this is a bond that like nobody could really break. It's kind of like a, like you're going to be able, like you guys are going to heal everything that you went through in previous relationships or whatever to come back together. It's going to be able to, um, like you guys are going to be solid. That's what I'm getting. Like people are going to try, people are going to really try to like, you know, I'm getting like little vultures trying to get at you or trying to, 20 to 11 when I looked up, like just like trying to interfere. But I feel like, um, there's like no way i was gonna say there's no way 22 22 no way in hell if you guys have spent so much time working on yourselves trying to be better for your person and then finally reconciling that anybody's gonna break that relationship up so i mean they could try but i would hope that your person and you would have enough or i know and i have faith that you know you know when you officially find your twin flame or if you officially you know find that union you really work hard to, at least that's what I'm going to do when, if I, it were to happen, because you never know. But what I'm saying is, um, you know, even in my past, like, I always try to put my 100% in it. And, like, you learn from every situation. But this situation I'm saying with you guys is if when you guys come back together if, if or when you meet your new person, because maybe you guys are going to be meeting somebody and it's going to be, like, I'm getting sparks or something like that where it's going to be, like, meant to be and it's just gonna flow and align this is gonna be something that's gonna like you guys are gonna be solid you guys are not gonna have the trust issues and if you do you're gonna work through them and like you're gonna have like you guys are gonna be able to communicate and like you know walk on a path towards like union and like um like a happy family whether you have children or not or whatever like not necessarily just a happy situation so um so yeah whatever energy it resonates whether it be a romantic or a platonic situation but yeah okay so this one's a little long 23:55. okay so i'm gonna get out of here it's 12 19 a.m so i'm gonna go to bed now i'm exhausted so anyways let me know if the energy if this reading resonates with you guys let's pull growing and evolving I'm just going to leave it leave it at that. I didn't do tarot, but it's okay. All right. Um, I'm feeling this person really is having an issue, like, trying to start a conversation with you. Because I feel getting, like, uh, I don't know. I get, like, the, uh, like, I'm nervous. But, all right, guys. <sighs> Grief. Growth. Grief and growth. I feel like you guys are letting go of old situations, old mentalities old limiting releasing limited beliefs whether it be if this person is 
I'm getting maybe this, if it's a situation, it could be, so I'm tired, you guys. Um, maybe you guys are interracial. Um, if it's not that, there's some sort of difference or dynamic or something that's kind of um, made your relationship a little different, a little like uh, not the normal type, maybe, uh, I don't know. So yeah, take the energy as it resonates. Okay, I'm officially going to let you guys go because I'm about to fall asleep right here. Hope you guys liked the video. Let me know if it resonates. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.